Today, well, it's the pace of Alex Morgan next to the strength, power, athleticism, and tremendous skill of Abi Wambach. Probably feels a lot colder than the 34 degrees as you look at the active slashing winger, Heather O'Reilly, who picks up a start today, widens the game out for the United States. And of course, Hope Solo. Some regard her as the number one goalkeeper in the world, was not scored upon in 450 minutes of play in CONCACAF Olympic qualifying. New Zealand in the black, the United States in the white. And it's game on here in Frisco, Texas. The United States women's national team taking on New Zealand. Box will play it wide here, O'Reilly, with her first touch. Towards Wambach, Wambach is shouldered off it. As coming out of the middle was Abby Erseg in her 63rd appearance tonight. The U.S. will get a free kick. Lauren Cheney coming across the field to take it. The U.S. load the box up. Cheney drives it in, first ball headed away, and then Gregorius heading it out wide. Talked to Pia Sundhaga yesterday, wanted to emphasize again the continued uh, emphasis on the possession game, the flexibility to switch systems. Six subs allowed today, so expect to see a number of changes uh, certainly at halftime. Rhea Percival off the throw. The U.S. trying to win possession here. They touch it on. O'Reilly now. We'll play it out wide on the right. Look at the pace of Alex Morgan. She'll get there first, trying to turn the corner towards the end line. And the touch a bit long. It'll be a goal kick to New Zealand. Inside of two minutes. U.S. players came out for a warm-up today. And fans uh, just absolutely enthralled with the U.S. women's national team. Jenny Binden off the goal kick in her 61st appearance tonight. Ali Riley now. LaPelbit lining up on the right with a wonderful switch. Tremendous ball over distance. Lloyd, Rampone. Box. O'Hara. And it's Lloyd again now, who's scored in every game but the final in Olympic qualifying. Led the U.S. in goal scoring in that tournament in Vancouver just a few weeks back. O'Hara tried to pick out a run across the top of the box from Morgan. He'll go all the way back to Binden and goal. Binden under pressure from Morgan. A nervous start here for New Zealand who can't get out of their own half of the field. Lloyd will knock it back. Here is Rampone, amazingly tonight, appearing in her 250th game. Bueller, Rampone. Amber Hearn trying to get turned, will knock it back. Six is the captain, Rebecca Smith, who knocked it forward. Lloyd now will win it back, LaPelbit now. 
You're accustomed to seeing her on the left side of the field. Nice ball towards the corner. Flag O'Reilly now. What can she do? Tries to hold it up, looking for support. O'Reilly and tackled away. Some dogged, determined defending there from Ali Riley. Fox. O'Reilly, the pelvic. Feet of Morgan. Nice touch from Morgan. And then cleared away by Ali Riley, who's getting worked over here on the left side for New Zealand. Incredible depth on this U.S. roster. Strength, power, skill. A bigger emphasis now on the possession game. And the flexibility to come in and out of a few different systems. Boxes fouled by Katie Hoyle. In her 52nd appearance tonight for New Zealand, who plays in Germany. The captain, Christy Rampone. Amazingly, was a goal scorer in college at Monmouth. Turned into a great central defender at the international level now. Generally, people using the word legendary. She clips it into the box. It's helped on by O'Reilly. High kick and then cleared. It'll be a free kick for New Zealand. Vinton just gave it back to the U.S. and Amy LaPelbit now. 60th cap tonight. Out or line is Binden making the diagonal run was Wambach. Bobby Wambach has been scoring goals like a machine. 131 goals lifetime. Had four goals at the World Cup. Great control from O'Reilly. They try to work a one-two. Lloyd gave it away. Ali Riley now, who's been active with a direct ball. Rampone coming out of the middle for the U.S. and they'll get the throw. Seven minutes in. Wambach does a wonderful job of protecting the ball over the top towards Morgan. She's offside. But that is a legitimate threat behind any defense. Ersig off the free kick will hit a direct ball. It's headed down by the Pelbit. U.S. looking for their first clear chance in this game. Eight minutes in. Game has literally been entirely played in the New Zealand half of the field. Kirsty Yao played it off. Ersik. Good ball to Riley. Riley's touch a bit long. It allowed... Lloyd to get in there and make a tackle, but it's still Riley now. Riley with a nice switch here. Threatening moment now, maybe for New Zealand. More wood now. Into the box it comes, and Rampone will shield off the run of Amber Hearn to the screams and delights of fans who see Hope Solo get her first touch here on this day. Good vision to get it switched by Shannon Box or Riley. U.S. will play on February 29th through March 7th in the Algarve Cup. As here comes New Zealand now. Rampone against Hannah Wilkinson. Wilkinson squares it back, but O'Hara does the covering. Cheney. Wambach laid it off. Morgan back to Wambach. Two forwards playing. There's one. Morgan may be in here. 
Alex Morgan trying to shake a defender off, goes down in the box. To the penalty spot we go. Nine minutes in. The speed, the pace of Morgan has elicited a penalty kick. Tremendous breakout play from the United States. She got in behind the defense after a wonderful buildup. Alex Morgan drawing the free kick, the penalty. And now looking for goal 132 is Abby Wambach. Wambach off the post. She missed the penalty. Morgan has won the second ball and New Zealand Thanks to the post of avoided conceding the game's first goal. Airsink. Kirsty Yallop. And it's given away. Foul on Carly Lloyd, and it'll be a free kick to New Zealand. No one played more minutes in 2011 than Carly Lloyd for the U.S. women's national team. Ersig, U.S. with a tight line up front over the top and turning a defense. And maybe they were caught too high. New Zealand to make it one over the top. What an effort and what an opportunity for Hannah Wilkinson. The United States women's national team got caught pushing too high defensively and were beat over the top by New Zealand. Hannah Wilkinson, you may not get a better chance in this game today. U.S. did not get pressure on the ball in midfield. Their line defensively was pushed very high. And wisely, the Lady Ferns hit the space in behind the defense, leading to the chance from Wilkinson. Still at zeros. O'Reilly, Wambach, Morgan, who was just constantly in motion. Morgan, great tight skill amongst three. O'Reilly, Lloyd now. Wonderful switch and vision from Carly Lloyd. O'Hara into the box. Wambach is in there, overhit it. Good buildup, good switch of play. Final ball just over the head of Abby Wambach. Two weeks playing indoors in Vancouver. In CONCACAF Olympic qualifying, well, the U.S. Women's National Team outdoors today in 34 degrees, and quite frankly, walking in from the parking lot, it felt colder than that. Wambach now. Here's Abby. Abby shot, save at the near post. Diving to her right was Jenny Binden. He plays for Hibiscus Coast. The near post covered as Wambach trying to beat her with a left foot. Cheney holding the ball above her head to signify some type of movement in the penalty area. UCLA, Boston Breakers. Delivers it to the back post. Box got a head on it. New Zealand's claiming it's out of play. It's just over the top. And a goal kick to New Zealand. So 14 minutes in, a missed penalty kick from Abby Wambach, and a missed one-on-one -on -one opportunity from New Zealand's Hannah Wilkinson. Entertaining game so far here in Frisco, Texas at FC Dallas Stadium. Rebecca Smith will knock it towards the halfway line. O'Hara. 
Kelly O'Hara only began playing for as an outside back for the U.S. Women's National Team in Olympic qualifying. She's gotten a number of games there, so she's being fast-tracked in that wide position. Lloyd trying to break through. Becca Smith on the ball now, plays for Wolfsburg in Germany. Her soccer odyssey has carried her to four different countries. Speaking of captains, Christy Rampone, number three for the United States. Shannon Box trying to get out of a tight space. Rampone will switch it out wide into space to O'Reilly. He's got an overlapping run from the Pelbit. And the Pelbit gave it away. Unforced error. Thing that is known about New Zealand. They will compete, they will battle, they have a tremendous spirit and camaraderie. They are expected to get the 12th and final Olympic spot out of Oceana against an opponent to be determined in a home and home series in March and April. They will be the final team to qualify for London if in fact it does happen and it is expected to happen lazy ball back around Alex Morgan spells danger Sixteen minutes in, zero zero. Glad you've tuned in here on USsoccer.com. O'Hara out of Stanford. Cheney. Bit of an unforced error. Box tried to make a saving tackle there. Wilkinson now. He's She's got a runner, slips in a decent looking ball. Some good work defensively to get back from Kelly O'Hara. Trying to get turned was Kirsty Yallop. Space here for Wambach towards Morgan. Morgan's looking for it. Morgan's found it. Morgan's beat one, beat two. Morgan has shot and saved by Binden. Almost looked like it was behind her and the play was over. Alex Morgan turned it into something special. Her movement, her mobility, and her elusiveness in and around defenders. Makes her something special to watch. Lombach and her establishing a nice relationship. Box, what a ball from Shannon Box, almost on a standing right leg. Hit that with her left. Picked out O'Hara, who knows how to attack. O'Hara swings it in towards the near post. Smith is there to cut it out, the captain for New Zealand. Who are back deep into their own half, over the top of Wambach. And that is a player that I think sometimes in Abby Wambach, the tendency is to play to her in the air. When in fact, she's excellent with the ball at her feet. First match for the U.S. since the qualifying tournament. First game in Texas since 2007, when they beat Canada 6-2. So a rare treat here in the state of Texas, and fans have come out in a big way to support the U.S. Women's National Team today.
box. Boyle knocks it back to Smith. Binden has made one good save in this one on Abby Wamba. Boyle gets it wide now. Over the top. Trying to pick out Sarah Gregorius. Lloyd. Lots of uh, movement up front, but Carly Lloyd's pass is cut out. Gregorius knocks it back. New Zealand trying to make a stand a little bit higher up the field now against the U.S. And it has marginalized midfield and it's allowed them to get pressure on the ball a little bit easier here. U.S. still trying to get themselves out of the back here. And it leads to a bad ball from Rampone. <laughs> Allie Riley now. <laughs> Interesting story. The left back, Allie Riley, wearing number seven, played at Stanford. So did Kelly O'Hara. They're good friends. Could have held it there. The Pelbit. Good tackle from Wilkinson, who's with a long stride, is bowled over, and it'll be a free kick for New Zealand. Wilkinson has shown a little turn of speed, has gotten herself into a good goal scoring position, and is putting a stamp on this game. Just cutting right into her path was Rachel Bueller. And at the end, it allows the U.S. to get back defensively and get back behind the ball and organize to defend a free kick. <laughs> Kirsty Yallop, number 11, who plays in Sweden for New Zealand. In her 51st appearance tonight, drives in a good-looking ball. Set it out. Back defending Abby Wambach. Amy LaPelbit, Wambach. Morgan driving towards the end line squares it towards the near post and headed out by New Zealand Alex Morgan is on her game here today the young striker uh, making a case to make herself a permanent starter Wilkinson now Bueller on her Wilkinson towards the penalty spot. And shot way off the mark. A rather tame effort coming from number eight, Haley Morwood, who plays for Chelsea in England in her 70th appearance tonight. And is the most capped player in this squad. Solo. Had a quad injury in Olympic qualifying. Good look at Kelly O'Hara. Only her 11th appearance today for the U.S. women's national team. 
generally scores the highest, I am told, during fitness tests for the U.S. Women's National Team. Bueller now. Rampone. Formidable uh, partnership in the middle for the U.S. Bueller. Streaking O'Reilly, couldn't control it. U.S. now pushing higher up the field here to try and win the ball back off the throw-in. And it's exactly what they do. Morgan is brought down. It'll be a free kick. Cheney stands over the set piece. U.S. have loaded up the box, and it comes. And clear. More wood now. Gregorius laid it off. More wood knocks it wide. Over the top towards Wilkinson. And it's Rachel Bueller all the way back to Hope Solo. Sig, and it'll be a free kick New Zealand as Lloyd went over the back of a New Zealand player. 15 players on this New Zealand squad play outside of their country. And here's Riley to take the free kick. Lloyd, O'Reilly, Wambach. Wambach upset at the ball she just played. Space being found on the right side. Wilkinson is pulled out. Wilkinson, her cross takes a deflection. Rampone was there. Wilkinson gets it again. O'Hara on her now. Tried to earn a corner off the legs of O'Hara, but missed her and it'll be a goal kick to the United States Kelly O'Hara again out of Stanford being used as an outside back a position she has not played throughout her career had a number of starts there in Olympic qualifying in Vancouver and today gets a start on the left side moving Amy LaPelbit to her more favored right Pelbit still battling away. Cheney. Wambach. Smith, it's a bad back pass. Is Wambach going to get there? No. Binden off the line alertly. Clears the danger. The touch from Smith looked like it was not weighted heavy enough, but Binden with some very alert goalkeeping for New Zealand. O'Hara just put it through the legs of an attacking player. Alert goalkeeping, good range to cover a penalty area. Strength and depth out wide for the U.S., up front for the U.S. The real question probably going in to the London Olympics is going to be on a settled back four and specifically those outside back positions. Wambach. O'Hare. Cheney.
Lloyd has made a run out of midfield where she can slip into the attack. O'Reilly made a run past her. Good tackle, broken up, but it's one back now by LaPelbit for the U.S. She's brought down. It'll be a free kick. 30 minutes in, we're tied at zero. Best chance for the United States. Abby Wambach went to the penalty spot and hit the post. The pelvic legs clipped by number 11, Kirsty Yallop. Cheney to take the free kick now. Six players in the box for the U.S. Sitting around the top of the arc is LaPelbit. Make that seven players in the box for the U.S. Cheney towards the six. Good looking ball. Like bowling pins are falling down in and around the six, but the delivery perfect. Hit the right area. Did not reap the benefits or the reward. It's basically a position where a goalkeeper is in real danger. As you see, Binden trying to get off her line. She's not going to get there. Goalkeeper in two minds. But in the end, the header, they could not steer it on target. Chaney, good touch. Another good touch. U.S. line is high again, and Wilkinson is going to find space on the right side for New Zealand. Overran it, and it allows O'Hara to get back defensively. Been three or four moments in this game where the U.S. back four has been pushed real high without pressure on the ball, and it has looked dangerous. In fact, they got caught once with Wilkinson getting in behind their defense. Only to put a shot over the top. Hope Solo off the goal kick. Such a fundamental piece to the U.S. women's national team. She'll play a short one to Rampone. U.S. still trying to find that... Uh, Rhythmic passing rhythm. Maybe get it off their feet a little bit quicker. Box. Rampone. Lloyd. Into the 33rd minute now. Rampone will go back to Hope Solo. Still 0-0 here in Frisco, Texas. Wonderful crowd here, sellout crowd at FC Dallas Stadium to see the U.S. Women's National Team. Under pressure now. Can't find Morgan. Wambach has won a bad pass. Morgan, who's always there, ready to pounce. Wambach is onside. Tons of players beating people into the box. This could be 1 0 US. Miss hit delivery from Abby Wambach. With two or three US players screaming into the box. Over the top towards Gregorius, Rampone. Calmly covers and plays back to Hope Solo. Morgan flicked it on, but Wambach was on the other side of the field. Box wins the tackle. Shannon will get it wide to Amy LaPelbe. 
Morgan trying to get across the face of number five, Abby Ersig, but couldn't. U.S. win it back, Alex Morgan. Good layoff, Cheney, shooting opportunity, left footed shot just over the top. Morgan picked her out at the top of the penalty area. No hesitation from Lauren Cheney, whose left footed blast goes over the top. Great awareness, great vision. Let it roll across her body onto her left foot. Hit it with conviction, just couldn't put it on the target. Cheney, two goals and three assists at the FIFA Women's World Cup. And that time uh, coming inside from a wide position. O'Reilly, bad pass. Heather O'Reilly trying to get herself into this game has not been able to get that uh, traditional winger type like play going here on the right side. Two thousand and four gold medal winner at only nineteen years of age in Athens, Greece. Had her jersey retired at the University of North Carolina today in her one hundred and fifty sixth appearance. Heather O'Reilly. 36 minute here as the half beginning to wind down. Cheney, Morgan, picked off by Binden. Morgan looked to be in an offside position. We'll term that a shot. Even though we know it was a miss at cross. Sixth on goal for the U.S. Longer range shot again now, this time coming from Carly Lloyd. So New Zealand hanging on here. Always a threat out of midfield, Carly Lloyd. Goalkeeper Jenny Binden. There's a lot of training with men's teams to keep her game sharp for New Zealand. Rachel Bueller there organizing things at the back for the U.S. Lloyd Box now has pushed into an advanced position, broken up there nicely. Gregorius now for New Zealand. Sold out FC Dallas Stadium in Frisco, Texas. 38th minute, Glenn Davis with the call here for USsoccer.com. 0 0. Box took that one in the face and doesn't even flinch. Was last touched by New Zealand, and now the linesman reverses uh, her decision correctly. Great defending by Bueller. She won the ball back. Here comes the pelvic. Still the pelvic broken up by Riley. U.S. will get a throw. Ten days head for Europe and the Algarve Cup in Portugal, where, by the way, they will meet Japan. Box blindly trying to switch it and knocked it out of play. O'Hara had moved into an advanced position up the left side, so it's a throw into New Zealand now. Maria Percival.
Speaking to Pia Sundhaga yesterday, she said, look, whether players get five minutes or play the entire 90, they have to go out on the field in these games and prove something. The competition and depth on this team is intense. Ersig back to Binden. Riley heads it forward. Fox now. Good vision to switch it. O'Hara. It's for support. Gets it from Cheney. Lauren Cheney now. Good switch to O'Reilly. She's one on one. Will she take her to the end line? Yes, she loves doing that. But Riley reads it beautifully. Tremendous defending from Allie Riley of New Zealand, who plays for the Western New York Flash. A four-time player of the year in New Zealand. Watch Riley here. Excellent defending concentration and understanding that O'Reilly was going to the end line. Riley has gotten the better of Heather O'Reilly. Cheney, Wamba, he's going to get there, tries to steer the cross in. Riley cut the cross out. Wamba is down. Slow to get up. It'll be a corner to the United States. Play of the game right now for New Zealand is their left back, Ollie Riley. Cheney now to take the corner. Eight players in the box. Morgan comes short. They bypass her. It's miss it. It'll be a goal kick New Zealand. Forty second minute tied at zero. Yallop towards the corner flag. Bueller took a look behind her. New Zealand now moves itself up the field to take the throw. Allie Riley. Born in Los Angeles, Riley. They played in top of the box. Morewood. Clipping into the back post. Wilkinson was there. It's headed away by Rampone and Bueller. We'll steer it clear for the moment. O'Reilly now. Ursic. Box. Cheney now powering forward. Final minutes here in the first half. Heather O'Reilly. Boy, just laser-like accuracy from Carly Lloyd. The switch to play and leads to this. Morgan's got an empty net if she can get it down. Back to Wambach. Clear. Shot over the top. From Lauren Cheney. What a wonderful switch, though, to initiate this tack from Carly Lloyd. And the U.S. come close. Wambach in the middle of it again. Morgan gets it down and quickly finding her attacking partner who can't control it. But then gratuitously it falls to Cheney whose shot goes over the top.
Carly Lloyd now. O'Reilly. New Zealand getting tons of players. It is thick behind the ball here for the United States. O'Reilly drives it into the box towards Morgan. Box. Wonderful switch. Seen some great uh, balls hit over distance with tremendous accuracy from the United States today. Top of the box here. Wambach couldn't hold it. Cheney jackknife down. Still no call. Morgan trying to get to the end line. Ursa Gazer bending off her line for New Zealand. One minute of stoppage time has been added here in the first half. Cheney rode through the tackle. O'Hara. Can the U.S. pick a goal off here before halftime? Box. Lloyd. Great change of direction and almost picking out Heather O'Reilly. U.S. will get a throw. Bueller comes across nicely to head away. Lloyd to O'Hara. And the first half will come to an end here in Frisco, Texas. To a large round of applause from U.S. fans. We have not seen a goal yet in this one. The United States and New Zealand tied at zero after an entertaining first half. Some changes being made by the U.S. national team. Nicole Barnhart will come in goal for Hope Solo. And also coming on number eight, Amy Rodriguez for Heather O'Reilly. So Pia Sundhaga, two changes here at halftime. The United States in white, New Zealand, the all-black uniforms. And it's game on here in the second half. We're off and running your referee, Mu Hackett, and here is Rodriguez getting her first touches. Moorwood tried to play it. Here's Wambach. Knocks it back. Rampone. Shannon Box now. Box to Rampone. Lauren Cheney is, looks as though she's playing underneath the two U.S. strikers. It's a giveaway. Sarah Gregorius, number 10, played it to Amber Hearn. New Zealand will get it wide. They've got players in the box across towards the back post, and Barnhart will pounce on it. Forty-one caps for Nicole Barnhart, the backup to Hope Solo. Rodriguez. Morgan into the box for the U.S. Cuts it back. Rodriguez and we had an offside flag up. Down for New Zealand it was number two, Rhea Percival. Confidence building first half for New Zealand. Going to the locker room 0 0 at halftime. Tony Reddings, the New Zealand head coach, in his first game in charge. 
for the football ferns. Has been with the program for a number of years. Born in England, look at there at uh, some of the fans here in Frisco, Texas. Seems to be getting even cooler here as the sun bathing less and less of the fans here in the stadium. People very bundled up here for this one, 34 degrees. Percival is off on the sideline right now, effectively New Zealand playing with 10 men, but she'll be re-entering shortly. Hearn brought it down, Gregorius now. Morgan, who's been active, who's been one of the better U.S. players on this day so far. Here's Cheney now. Gets it wide to Shannon Box, and Box miss hit the cross. Been a number of unforced errors today from U.S. players. I hope Solo has been injured. Nicole Barnhart has stepped in. Gregorius. Hoyle will knock it over the top. Dangerous ball back Rhea Wilkinson is there and maybe it's New Zealand up 1-0 and they are she pounced on a bad back pass Hannah Wilkinson Scoring her 10th international goal and none bigger. She gets it against the United States here in Frisco, Texas. It's 1-0 O'Hara with the back pass, which is not a good one. And New Zealand has shocked the crowd here in Frisco, Texas. It is 1-0. Hannah Wilkinson. And let's see how this motivates the United States here in the 50th minute. Cheney. U.S. will get a corner. Opportunity to load the box up now. Eight in the box. Morgan coming short. They drive it towards the six. It's headed out firm. A good defensive header by Abby Ersik, who plays for Adelaide United. And this goal could galvanize New Zealand even further here. to the comments and quotes you heard from the U.S. It was the spirit, the physical nature of New Zealand, the competitive side, and the will to keep playing. And being down a goal now, that is the challenge for the U.S. Amber Hearn now. Make that more wood. Rhea Percival to take the throw. Four minutes into the second half. A bad back pass from Kelly O'Hara, pounced on by Hannah Wilkinson. New Zealand has a 1-0 lead. Good turn from Morgan. Over the top goes Wamba. Binden. 
Good alert play off her line. She showed that in the first half as well. O'Hare, Rodriguez. Good ball. Cheney. Morgan. Got a wide open play on the right. Didn't see it. Morgan shot, pulled it wide. The Pelbit was joining in the attack. Might have been the player on. Alex Morgan electing to shoot there. She has been very busy, very active. Lone goal coming off a charitable back pass. A mistake from O'Hara. Pass down by Hannah Wilkinson. In her 25th appearance here today, she picks up her 10th goal. She was dangerous in the first half as well. Had a good chance. And the best chance for New Zealand in the first half. Janie helping it on towards the pelvic. Ali Riley now. Wilkinson making a diagonal run. Riley. Yallop goes back. Urseg. Wilkinson. And good defending there coming back. Lauren Cheney to make the tackle. Rodriguez could give the U.S. a lift here in the second half. Box will knock it forward. Zealand clearly a step up from much of the competition in CONCACAF Women's Olympic qualifying. And in fact, it was Costa Rica that gave the U.S. the most difficult half of soccer in that qualifying tournament in Vancouver over the course of 45 minutes. Percival tried to throw to the head of Wilkinson. Box trying to break through now. Shannon Box now. Top of the box. Box's shot is blocked. Trying to inspire the U.S. Shannon Box. Gregorius trying to hold it up. It's curled in behind the New Zealand defense. Right to their goalkeeper, Jenny Binden. Look very capable today. Pelvic. Lloyd trying to come out of there with the quick feet. Will. O'Hara. Morgan. Wambach. Cheney. Box kept that alive for the U.S. Putting her body on the line. Rampone. Wambach. Rodriguez driving it to the box now. Amy Rodriguez holds it up. Cuts it back. Swings it in. Through everybody. LaPelbit's going to get there now. Box is loaded up for the U.S. LaPelbit will get it over. Free headers. Wambach header to Binden. Sharp change of direction, and boy, that delivery goes through everybody. It went right behind Cheney. And then LaPelbit would get it over again. Lombach would come in, just could not get enough power on it. And her header went straight to the experienced Jenny Binden in goal, who has played in two World Cups for New Zealand. Lots of time here, 58th minute. 
U.S. still trying to break down New Zealand. Morgan, box. New Zealand doing a good job of getting pressure on the ball very quickly once the U.S. get into their half. Working extremely hard as a unit. Lloyd. Exactly the type of game U.S. Women's National Team head coach Pia Sundhaga would want. Rampone, Cheney. Box. Wonderful ball from Shannon Box. LaPelbit. Still LaPelbit trying to keep this play alive. Broken up finally. And breaking out now is Ali Riley now for New Zealand. He has been a real warrior at that left back position today. One of the better players on this day for New Zealand. Along with number 17, your goal scorer, Hannah Wilkinson. Gregorius now making a run. Gregorius, beautiful tackle. Timed perfectly by Kelly O'Hara providing the cover. And if you don't think tackling a skill is a skill, well, you just were reminded otherwise on that play from Kelly O'Hara. Free kick now for New Zealand. They lead 1-0 here in the 60th minute. FC Dallas Stadium in Frisco, Texas. Glenn Davis, glad you're watching here on ussoccer.com. Kirsty Yallop stands over it, so does Amber Hearn. It will be Yallop over the top. Never a threat. You tell a minute, it left her foot. Two changes in the second half for Pia Sundhaga and the U.S. Women's National Team. Nicole Barnhart in goal. And Amy Rodriguez came on for Heather O'Reilly, who in the first half was marked out of the game by number seven, Ali Riley of New Zealand. New Zealand will make a change. Betsy Hassett, number 12, will come on. Midfielder who plays at Cal Berkeley. So has connection to the U.S. in her 28th appearance here today. Off goes Haley Morwood. Wilkinson. He's trying to slip in Gregorius. Cheney, Alex Morgan, Alex Morgan shot, save. Did not jump off her foot. Another great run, the movement again, dangerous. The end product not there for Alex Morgan. Takes a good touch to get away from a defender. And in the end, the finish is not hit clean. U.S. getting set to make another change. Megan Rapino, who's an absolute live wire off the bench, is getting set to come on for the United States. Coming off the talented number 10, Carly Lloyd. Interesting to see how the U.S. align themselves with Rapino on. Will she play central? So Megan Rapino on. Long ball into the box, gathered by Jenny Binden.
Wambach setter going all the way to number five, Ab Abby Ursig, who's under pressure from Rapino. U.S. trying to step their pressure up on New Zealand now, down a goal. 63rd minute. Box is called for the foul. Rebecca Smith to take the free kick for New Zealand. The captain plays for Wolfsburg in Germany. Good strong header from Bueller. Second ball, though, was won by Yallop. Percival's ball broken up. Here's Morgan. U.S. maybe an opportunity to break out here over the top towards Wambach. It's a beautifully flighted ball. Wambach heads it into her path. Still Wambach marked by Smith, the captain. Good help coming back defensively by Percival, who remains down, but it'll be a corner for the United States. Lauren Cheney to take it. Set pieces so vital to the U.S. in Olympic qualifying. Could it be vital here at this moment to tie things up? 64th minute, Cheney to take the corner. Towards the near post. She'll get another try. Cold, blustery day here in Frisco, Texas. Short one to Morgan. Morgan turns. Morgan into the box. Goes off a defender graciously into the hands of Binden. She's been coming out to Cheney on all these corners, and finally she got a short one to her feet. And it was a very dangerous moment for New Zealand. Watch out, Wilkinson trying to break through. This hit ball from Barnhart. Throw in for New Zealand now. 65th minute. The U.S. Women's National Team don't want to send home a crowd of 20,000 plus disappointed. Gregorius. That's a good ball. Asset got it into the box. Barnhart is going to pounce on it. Good combination play there. From the second half sub, Betsy Hassett. And this goal has galvanized and improved the confidence of New Zealand. In the first half, in every facet of the game, pretty much was dominated. Twenty thousand six hundred and seventy seven in attendance here to see the US and New Zealand. Rapino now. Riley, Yallop, Hoyle will switch it. Percival not able to get there. Janie O'Hara, very tight space, Rodriguez. Can't get out of there. New Zealand has won it back. This is Hearn. Very celebratory atmosphere before this game, very nationalistic with tons of U.S. Women's National Team fans in attendance. They have been silenced, though, by New Zealand, who have a 1-0 lead, scoring four minutes into the second half. Rapino now has found space on the right side for the U.S. Plenty of time left in this one. Towards the near post and speared out of play. By number six, Rebecca Smith, the U.S. will get another corner. Their sixth of the match. And again, Lauren Cheney to take it.
Alex Morgan standing in front of New Zealand's goalkeeper Jenny Binden. She'll come short again. She won't get it this time. They bypass her. Rapinoe's header. Save Binden. Bueller was trying to get across the face of Jenny Binden. Instant dividends coming from the busy and active Megan Rapino, who gets up, snaps the header. Bueller tried to get there. Rapino came off the bench on a number of occasions in Olympic qualifying to really spike the game for the U.S. Rodriguez Rodriguez swiveling changing direction beat a few players pass doesn't connect they have been organized they have been determined and they have gotten the one goal they have desired here New Zealand leads 1-0. Chance of USA now raining down here at FC Dallas Stadium. Hassett plays it wide. Percival's cross. Barnhart. Cheney is stripped. Shot from long distance, pretty ambitious from Katie Hoyle. Good skill from Rapino. Pino in a deeper position gave it away. Hassett. The game's goal scorer, Wilkinson, is tackled off it by Rampone. Rodriguez now. U.S. trying to build something up. Beating a lot of resistance in the middle third of the field. Smith will win it back. And it'll be a throw in. U.S. able to now walk themselves up the field. Wilkinson, Amber Hearn now, Gregorius. He's got movement from Riley who joins in the attack. Here's Riley now, Ali Riley. Gregorius. Missing moments from New Zealand who finally lose it. And here's Rapino who's got a lot of room. Rapino cuts it back, beats one. Left it for dead in midfield. Rapino now. Over the halfway line, looking for support. And New Zealand has recovered and gotten back behind the ball. O'Hara. Rodriguez flared off. Can she turn it back towards the near post? And Binden calling off her defender. Rebecca Smith showing some real experience there. He has been good in goal today. Over the top, Gregorius now in a foot race. Gregorius holds it up. Longer range shot will flare wide. Yallop. Cole Barnhart will restart things. New Zealand has taken the crowd out of it here. U.S. need to find and produce a goal here, 73rd minute. The 
Velvet, Rapino. Still Rapino, operating central, over the top, but overhit it. Rodriguez was making a diagonal run from her wide position. Mueller side puts it back to Barnhart. Tomley now to O'Hara. Rosie White, number 13, comes on. The game's goal score. Into the box. Morgan, Rombach, back to Morgan. Shot is blocked. Making their second change. So Hannah Wilkinson has come off. Minute, leaving the game number 17, Hannah Wilkinson, replaced by number 13, Rosie White. Here's a sub, Rosie White. Percival knocks it forward. O'Hara, ramp home. Box now. Good header to Bueller. He's going to switch it on the right to LaPel, but now U.S. got to up the tempo here a bit. Rapino peels off towards the corner flag, and the distribution not a good one. Riley. Riley's brought down. It'll be a free kick. Long run from Ali Riley, the left back of New Zealand. And she will earn a free kick after a tremendous run towards the end line. As New Zealand medical staff will make their way onto the field. Ali Riley today in her 53rd appearance for New Zealand, and here she is trying to turn the corner. Brought down by Amy LaPelbe. She has been outstanding. Largest crowd for a women's national team home game in over eight years. We've got to go back to the U.S.-Mexico. Back in 2003, 23,176 at the Cotton Bowl. New Zealand get it over. Rodriguez now. Morgan. Good ball from Morgan. Rodriguez needs the holder runner. Finally does, but it's too late. Lombach wisely did not release it because Rodriguez was in an offside position. After great work from Alex Morgan. Seventy seventh minute. Again, the U.S. have already qualified for the London Olympics. Three-time gold medal winners. O'Hara. Morgan. Box. He's going to try to keep it alive. Boy, Box went in hard. On Katie Hoyle. Hoyle's down. Gregorius is down.
Shannon Box will pick up a yellow card. Katie Hoyle, number four for New Zealand, trying to get back on the field. Long ball from Percival. New Zealand now threatening again. Riley getting into the box. Her shot or cross was blocked. It'll be a corner for New Zealand, and all the way back comes Abby Wambach to help defend the corner now, as New Zealand making a push of their own. And number seven, Allie Riley has been exceptional. Kirsty Yallop to take the corner for New Zealand in the 79th minute. Kornhart will pick it out of the sky. They're not sitting back. New Zealand has won it again. They won it off Abi Wambach. Rampone blocked by Hearn. New Zealand sensing a very important win here for them, a historic win. The U.S. 7-1 against New Zealand. New Zealand has to go all the way back to 87 for their lone win against the United States 1-0. Morgan. Broken up by Rebecca Smith. We have seen uh, some uncharacteristic mistakes at the back from both of the teams. Some errant giveaways, and that's exactly how New Zealand scored in this game. Bad back pass from O'Hara. Wilkinson pounced on it. That's the lone goal. Good switch on the right side. Is it going to get there? No. It's not good enough. At first, it looked promising. Rapino is now pulled out on the right. O'Hara will come out. And the high-flying Sidney LaRue will come on. So a defender comes off. An attacker on for the United States. Sidney LaRue plays at UCLA. Out of five goal game in Olympic qualifying. The game, number 12, Lauren Chaney, replaced by number 16, Lori Lindsay. So Lauren Chaney comes off, and Lori Lindsay comes on as well. So with about 10 minutes left, can Lindsay and LaRue help ignite the United States and provide some impetus off the bench? Barnhart. LaRue, who's got pace. Wambach and Morgan in the box. LaRue still. Lindsay and tackled away. Lindsay, a nice possession player for the U.S. All kinds of attacking talent on the field for the U.S. women's national team, including Amy Rodriguez off the throw. Bueller. Rampone. Rodriguez chests it down. Great change of direction. Amy Rodriguez picks her head up, beats one, end line, squares it back, took a deflection right into the arms of Binden.
Rapino. Trying to put pressure on. Rapino's gonna get called for the foul. Eighty-third minute. Time running out in the United States here in Frisco, Texas. The Pelbit lost it into the box to Barnhart. Got Rodriguez if she can get it out to her quick enough. Lindsay drives it in behind the defense. LaRue, can she get there? She does. Long box made a run in front of her, and the offside flag was up. Pia Sundhaga off the bench for the U.S., urging her team on here in the final minutes. 49th minute goal is the difference today from Hannah Wilkinson. Bueller heads it. LaRue tried to get there first. The captain Smith broke it up. to Rapino. Rapino got it hung up on her feet. <laughs> With the WPS on hiatus. All of these games so much more important. And the U.S. will quickly fill their schedule with more training camps and more games. Rodriguez now to prepare for 2012, the London Olympics. Rodriguez all the way to Binder. Very determined effort here from New Zealand now who are smelling the opportunity to get an upset victory over the United States. Lindsay, Rapino. Pelbit can't save. Today we've seen the U.S. with good ideas, not able to execute them. Passes over hit, under hit, behind people, forced, fun, unforced errors. And the competition deserves that type of credit because they've been able to put pretty good pressure on the ball here against the United States today, something that they did not see much of in Olympic qualifying. Rodriguez brought down, free kick for the U.S. now. And they get something out of this in the 87th minute. Rodriguez has proven to be a handful off the dribble, and that's just a late challenger. Legs cleaned out by Percival. Rapino's going to take the set piece. Seven in the box for the U.S. One and in around the box is LaPel, but crowd beginning to chant USA, USA. Rapino drives it in. Save, Binden. Nobody could get across the face of her. She hit it hard, she hit it low. Eighty-eighth minute. So New Zealand again avoiding danger. Binden will concede possession to the US. Sense of urgency. Rapino to box. Rapino, good first touch. We'll get across into the back post, a header off the post. 
Morgan's claiming goal. And it will count. It went across the great divide. New Zealand players surrounding referee. Moo Hackett claiming it didn't go in. Rapino got the delivery in. Rapino pumps up the crowd. A wonderful first touch made her a favorite to get this delivery in. Off the post. Binden may have pulled it back over the line. It's 1-1. Is there another goal in the United States here in the 89th minute? Rapino towards Wambach. Helps it on. LaRue trying to get there. Bend it off her line bravely for New Zealand. It may be a tough final few minutes now for New Zealand. Box. LaRue trying to fight her way through. LaRue still fighting. And she'll get called for the foul. Free kick to New Zealand. Second half sub, Sydney LaRue. A star at the under 20 World Cup, beginning to make her presence here on the full national team. Three minutes of stoppage time. LaRue, nice header now to Lindsay. Lindsay to Rapino. She's got Morgan in front of her. Morgan, great turn for Morgan. Across the top of the box, Morgan shot it wide. A brilliant individual effort, didn't have the perfect ending. Got turned beautifully, skipped past a few defenders. And nearly produced some five-star entertainment. She has been active, she has been busy. She has scored the lone goal for the U.S. Rodriguez now, crowd lifting the United States. Rodriguez into the box, trickles to the back post. Wambach was there. Beats one. Wambach squares it into the box, headed away by Smith. Right back in by Box, just off the top of the crossbar. Oh, what a finish here in Frisco. Shannon Box saw a goalkeeper off her line, tried to head it in past her. Gregorius trying to hold it up for New Zealand. Bueller. Bamba. Flicks it on towards Morgan. They can't get it cleared. LaRue now driving into the penalty area. LaRue. All kinds of panic at the back here. Lindsay steps up, cleared. Still not out. Morgan. Hopeful ball from Bueller. She'll get it wide this time to Rodriguez. Rodriguez now trying to drive towards the end line. Amy Rodriguez, bit of a stop and go, still has possession. Swing and a miss. Rampone. Ersig headed it out. Lindsay trying to get there for the U.S. Much of the crowd standing now here. Fox LaRue trying to break through.
Bueller. Wambach got up the header. Sippy goes to the U.S. Alex Morgan. After an amazing header from Emmy Wambach. It's two to one. You want drama? You got it. Wambach putting her body on the line. And how about that? Morgan. A head ball animal will knock it in off the post. And across the great divide. And the U.S. may be moments away from stealing this one from New Zealand in the latter stages. LaRue now. And now it's about managing the game. You've got the two to one lead. And with that, the final whistle blows. The United States score twice in the final stages. Two goals from Alex Morgan.